really good and really productive. Um, got a lot of insight on things I want to do in the business and develop. So that was really, really cool. Can't tell you about anything right now because it's right in the very early planning stages. But trust me, when, when you find out what it is, it's going to be amazing. Um, so thank you, Casey, for your time today. Oh, that's very bright on my head. Um, thank you very much, Casey, for your time today. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, and your great advice and wisdom. Um, absolutely love it. After I got off the call with Casey, packed up and, well, basically we were already packed up because I had packed up some last night and some today and some this morning before my um, coaching call and um, but then I left Zephy inside and she was not happy not happy at all and I had the windows open so I was talking to her while I was outside disconnecting the sewer and the water and the power and things like that and putting the stuff away and and she was running from one window to another and putting the front paws up and looking out the window and right now she's enjoying belly scratches as you can see yes a very distraught dog as you can see um <laughs> But she was not happy about being left in the camper by herself. While even even if I was like with, I, she could see me. It didn't matter. She was inside. I was outside, and she did not like that at all. Um, and then um, got her all <laughs> got her all buckled in and in her place where she's going to be where she's going to be traveling, and got her on her bed there and that, and um, got her buckled into her um, harness. And so I'm um, at the point now where been outside, done the final walk around. The slides are in. Been done the final walk around. The jacks are up. Um, and um, so I'm now in the seat, everything's ready to go, we're ready to roll out. And I'm hearing this crunch, crunch, crunch. What the heck is that? I turn and look, she's laying on her bed, chomping on the nylon strap that is buckled into the seatbelt. I'm like, no, we don't do that. So I had turned her, managed to turn her around so the strap was now behind her. And she was, seemed to be happier to be closer to me, um, which was good because we weren't going that far. We basically just drove out of the site, down three, um, down four sites so that we could then back in and swing into the site two down from us. And got all set up very quickly. Um, again, she stayed inside, had all the windows open and everything for her. Not a happy camper about being left inside again. Um, <laughs> I got talked to every time I came in. You can say hi. Say hi. And say hi <laughs> um but then i got some um got some writing done later that day oh, we had lunch i got some writing done um we went for a midday walk um got some work done so it's been a very a very productive day um got to make another connection with polka dots again and this is somebody i'd already previously had a connection with but we just ran out of time in the last conversation so we booked another time so we could get back in there again and uh um, had some great conversation again today and then um, it was time for us to leave to go all the way over to Solana Beach because on Tuesday nights when I'm in town I have my writers group and what we do there is we take along uh, a piece of writing that we've done um, there's a certain number of pages double space that we're allowed to take along and we read and everybody gets a copy of what we're reading and we read it out loud and they mark up their copies about things that they you know change it could be grammar it could be word spelling it could be punctuation it could be this doesn't sound this doesn't read right doesn't sound right you know maybe we need to revisit it and rewrite that piece and um there's three of us there tonight but only one of us had writing and it wasn't me um <laughs> do not put your nose up the sleeve of my shirt <laughs> um, i know my armpits probably smell good for you <laughs> She really wants attention, and I uh, took Zephy with me, and she stayed in the car. She seemed to do okay. Um, I actually left my phone in the car playing music, so I had it tucked into the pocket of the door playing music for her because I'm trying to find the right music. She doesn't like classical. She doesn't seem to like jazz. Um, I put gospel on in the car tonight on the drive over there, and she just settled down, so I just left it playing gospel, and um, it wasn't until I appeared back at the car and she actually saw me, even, she, even when the car beeped. To unlock she just kind of like just put her head up and then she saw me and it wasn't until I opened the door and the light came on and she was like <laughs> again and I had um, my to, my friends from the writers group came out to meet her as well so she got to meet some new people tonight and we just got back been for our walk so we're all in now for the night and tonight we are watching what are we watching tonight we are going to be watching Skyfall tonight we watched Quantum of Solace last night which had another really good um, had another really good um, foot chase in it. I don't know what it is about Daniel Craig and foot chases, but his foot chases in, um, in Casino Royale and Quantum Solace are awesome. Love watching the foot chases through the different towns and places that they go and everyone else. 
Dolly. She loved Dolly. <laughs> we'll have to try. I haven't tried any Dolly Parton on, on Zephy. So we'll have to give Dolly Parton a go there, Jason. And you got Gospel would have been my other recommendation. Yeah, she seemed to like that. I played on the way home and she was quiet. Usually when I'm driving, she's whining a little bit, but she just laid down and very quiet. Now look at her. Look at this dog. Just moving herself around, getting her scratches and stuff. And she... But her thunder, vet, her thunder shirt arrived today. It's supposed to arrive tomorrow, but it arrived today, and I was super excited to get that um, and read all the instructions. And so they say that, um, you know, lay it out flat, put some treats on it, and let them eat the treats off it so they think it's like a food board or something. And so I did that. And, they said, and then the instructions said, you know, put it on for five to ten minutes at a time um, until and build her up from that. So what I did is I put it on her, and then I got some treats, and I started training her. And um, the first time I put the vest on, the, God, it was funny. I put the vest on and she kind of like tucks her head down trying to grasp at the piece that goes around her neck here, around the, the chest piece. And she's trying to grasp it, but she overbalanced herself and ended up rolling around on the floor. It was, it was kind of funny. Um, but then I pulled the treats out and got her to sit, got her to shake, got her to stay and then come and sit. And um, so her training went really, really well for the 10 minutes that we had the vest on. So um, so now um, with her training, what I'm going to do is that as she's getting used to the vest, is put the vest on her, do some training with treats, got to have the treats, um, and we'll see how that goes. But um, tonight she was walking way, she was walking beautifully on her leash tonight. She wasn't, she was still zigzagging across in front of me a little bit, but she wasn't going around behind me. Um, and but she wasn't going too far across from me as well because I keep her on the left and she'll kind of go halfway across and I'll go no and she'll walk back over to the left hand side so she, as far as the leash goes she's starting to walk excuse me a lot better on the leash which is just awesome and we haven't really started formal training yet we just started the informal stuff but we are going to get her fully trained and certified and everything else and um she's a smart little smart little one what <laughs> I have no idea what she's what are you doing <laughs> look at this position the silly dog's in <laughs> you're there. She wants to play. You need to play? Is that what you want to do? You want to play? Can you high five? High five. Here we go. Low five. Whatever. <laughs> She's nuts, I tell you. Love this little nutter. She's actually nine months old, officially nine months old today, too. So nine month <laughs> it's her nine month birthday. I don't know what she's trying to do with my hand here. But she goes through bits where she threatens to bite, but she doesn't actually bite. She'll push her nose underneath my hand and push it away, but with her mouth open. Um, is it rain? Is it rain? We got rain on the roof, Zephy? It actually started raining while we were walking. I'm surprised she didn't turn around and go back to the RV, which is what she normally does. If we're out and we're walking and it starts to rain, she's just like about face and we're heading straight back inside. But she didn't do that tonight, and um, probably because it was just still spitting a little bit. But... Um, yeah, so she's walking much better on the leash. It's her ninth, her nine-month birthday today, the 3rd of December. So she's now officially nine months old. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. She's down here doing What you doing? Say hello. <laughs> um, she even has a lullaby. Of, oh, okay. Oh, ants. No. I just got an ant running up my arm. Where the heck did that come from? Oh, we have to keep an eye out for ants. I thought we had the, the place ant-proofed. guess we're going to have to put some more stuff down to keep them out of here. Um, but yeah, so today's been a really good day. Um, I said training went well, so tomorrow we'll do some, we'll probably do about two or three goes with her on the in the vest tomorrow and do some more training and see how that goes with her. Um, she likes the treats. The treats she likes are these um, ones that, are, um, that support military um, vet dogs. And uh, so she has these treats. Let's see if I can find them over here. She doesn't like any of the other treats I got, but she loves these ones, American Vet Dogs. And they um, and they go to helping support dogs that um, work with um, our wounded vet veterans. So I like getting buying stuff that would help support the veterans in some way or dog stuff. So those are dog treats and and um, proceeds go towards um, helping um, dogs, um, for dogs that are trained to um, be service dogs for um, wounded veterans. So I think that's an awesome cause and thankfully she likes them. In fact, she likes them very much. So I guess that those will be her treats. We tried her on different grain-free ones and she doesn't like them so much. She'll like chomp them around and then spit them out. 
Um, but yeah, she really likes those ones. So we'll get some more of those and keep them on hand. But they come out, they're about this big. So I actually cut them into four, into quarters for, um, for little training treats. Um, that way they last longer. And she only gets a little bit, so she wants to do more to get more. <laughs> Bribery and corruption at its best. <laughs> but anyway, um, we're off to watch um, Skyfall tonight. This is a very dark and very emotional James Bond movie. One of the darkest, most emotional. This is her reaction to Skyfall. Hey, what you chomping on? No, we don't chew on that. Um, so um, we will see how that goes. It's a very dark, emotional James Bond. One of the most... One of the darkest, most emotional James Bond ones that um, I know. I don't know about Spectre, though, because I won't see that till tomorrow night. It'll be the first time I'm seeing it. But um, anyway, have a super fantastic sparkling evening. We're off to watch the second to last James Bond movie. And then we're into Christmas movies. So um, have a super fantastic sparkling evening. Catch you guys tomorrow. Hey, Konera. Hey, stop the... <laughs> what are you digging at? Crazy dog. I love her. <laughs>